Well, a Superior Court judge is now backtracking after recently granting a motion for summary judgment dismissing a key part of the taxpayer lawsuit challenging the City of San Diego's acquisition of the downtown office tower known as 101 Ash Street that is unsafe to occupy. Mike Aguirre, one of the attorneys representing taxpayers in the lawsuit, joins us now with more. Mike, get us up to speed because it was a okay. tentative ruling yesterday and now the judges may be saying not so fast? Well, the, the, first of all, the judge isn't backtracking. The judge is just trying to do his job as conscientious as he can in a very complicated case. But this is a thing that San Diegans have to understand. The integrity of our entire city, city is at stake here for this reason. This building is dead. This building cannot be used for any purpose. The city of San Diego obligated itself to pay $91,793,022 for a dead building. It has no purpose, it has no use, it's filled with hazardous waste, it's going to take at least $115 million to get it up to speed, which the city doesn't have. Okay. And, and, and it was approved when the person who was advising the city on the transaction, the, the real estate advisor for the city, was being surreptitiously paid $4.4 .4 million from the very loan proceeds that the city had to repay. So this is something that goes right to the heart of our integrity. Sure. So you sued, and it's my understanding, I'm just reading what happened yesterday, the judge issued this tentative ruling, a motion for summary judgment, meaning that the judge is going to take it away from the jury and that the, that defendant basically wins the case. That was for a lender in the long disputed transaction? That was for the major player, the okay. major player that put it together, that got the $91 million, who went out uh, to some pension plans and got them to put $91 million into the loan. The loan, the amount of the lease on this, that lease amount was set to repay a loan that had a bunch of extra millions and millions of dollars for the promoters. Okay. So the city did not get uh, a market priced uh, building. They got a building that was inflated and that couldn't even be used. That's how, I mean, it's just sure. amazing. So is that player out of the lawsuit or still in? No, they're, well, for right now they're still in. The judge okay. is, was nice enough you know, the judge, when they say tentative decision, you know, that he says, look, this is the best I can do. And he puts it out there and he gave us a chance today to argue our points. And the points that we made is, look, it's not constitutional to buy a building that can't be used and to spend $91 million of taxpayer money on that. Sure. That's a violation of our Constitution. So boil it down for people at home kind of trying to sort through all of this stuff. What are you asking for? What are you hoping to get? And, and what happens now? We want the city to get the $91 million back. Okay. We and don't want the tax with that? That goes back to into the into the trough, into the into the city treasury. This, okay. the, but see, this is a taxpayer issue because taxpayers have a right to vote on debt. If you, if the city can spend their money uh, as a pay uh, as you go, uh, but they have to uh, get a vote of the public if they go into debt like this. And yeah. this now what's happening is the city has to, in order to pay this off is now going out into the market and they're going to borrow a couple hundred million dollars with interest and the rest of it, and they're going to pay it over the next 30 years. So it's, it's what the evil, yeah. the, the, when, the, when the Constitution was amended, it was amended because they said there's evil consequences of the floating debt. Now this debt is floating okay. so that 30 years from now, uh, taxpayers will be paying for it. Let me just get your quick comment. So the court says this court cannot second guess decisions made by the city council. The yes. decision would remove Wilmington Trust from the lawsuit. It doesn't sound like the court wants to second guess what's going on with the city council. Well, that here's can be the thing. A here's the thing. Here's the thing. Uh, what I said to the court today is, Your Honor, this is a right of taxpayers to vote on debt. Mm. Taxpayers stepping forward for their rights is not second guessing the city council, and the taxpayers have a right to hold the city council accountable. We don't. When we as taxpayers go down to City Hall and call them out on a violation of the Constitution. That is our absolute right written okay. into the Constitution. All right. Keep us apprised. It sounds I like will. we've got a few more steps. Well, They're giving you another chance, the court is, to kind of, you know, make breathing. some more We're arguments. We're still breathing. We're still breathing. We're still breathing. <laughs> Stay in there, Mike. Okay, thank you. All right, you. Mike and Gary Forrest. Jenny?